Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out some hardware. This is the VKB Gladiator NXT. This is the premium version. I'm going to be reviewing this today. We're going to be checking this out in Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, and we might even do a bit of a DCS uh, bit of footage as well because this thing is absolutely amazing i'm not i'm just going to cut the chase folks i am so impressed with this i have been looking for a flight stick for what seems like eternity and the only ones i can find are either the really cheapy crappy ones that probably last about two months and they just don't feel very good at all or the really high-end stuff like the thrustmaster and the verbal stuff which is you know all very well but i'm more of a yoke guy really i like my yokes and my flight sticks so i wanted something in between something that gives me that really great quality but you know doesn't mean i'm gonna have to remortgage the house to buy one and honestly this is absolutely bang on the money in fact i'll just show you some close-up pictures of it now and some video and all that kind of good stuff while i talk about it it basically comes in two versions the standard and premium you're looking at the premium version right now which has an extra sort of eight-way hat switch uh which can double up as an axis on its own very clever stuff it also has a rapid fire button um, so I would recommend the premium version, to be honest. Um, they both feel very, very high end, even though um, I have to say the only metal part of the, uh, the stick that I can feel is the bottom plate. But that is very solid and it has these sort of rubberized uh, points. Uh, so when it sits on your desk, it is, it's not going to move, folks. It is not going to move because it has a really nice, smooth feel and a very weighty feel. But something that really surprised me, and I'll mention this when we're, when we're flying, is the really precise feel of it. It's actually even better than my honeycomb yoke. And I think that's because it has magnetic sensors. There's just no twitching at all. I mean, you, you kind of expect that really from a new device. But because it has those magnetic sensors, it's going to last a lot longer than sort of, uh, you know, the traditional potentiometers and that kind of stuff. So, what else is there about this that I absolutely love? Well, I do really like how there is a twist rudder action to this, okay, but you can uh, put a screw in to stop that from happening because I actually prefer rudder pedals. In fact, I'm going to show you some NXT rudder pedals on the channel very soon as well, so stick around for that. Um, but uh, as you can see here, it has been machine gunned with buttons. Um, you can see here it has a very nice hand rest as well, which can uh, you can change that. There's two different uh, hand rests depending on your hand shape and size and all that kind of stuff. There is, in fact, I'll, uh, I'll overlay some shots again because you need to see this really close up to be honest. There is on mine four hat switches. That's just crazy. On the right side, you've got a five-way hat switch. Below is a five-way hat. And the left one on the premium actually doubles up as a like, mini joystick, which can be found on sort of Xbox controllers. But if you push it in, it can be programmed to be used as a eight-way hat switch as well, which is pretty damn amazing. That is only on the premium version, but I have to say, totally worth the money there uh, and worth that, those extra buttons. Because particularly, as you know, in DCS, you need so many different uh bindings that you need you know something like this is perfect for that it also has two encoders as well uh, which could be used say as aileron trim and uh, rudder trim and an axis in the middle which you could probably use for your throttle so that's a brief overview of the sort of features of the vkb gladiator nxt catchy name by the way <laughs> uh, and i just love the way this thing feels it feels really premium honestly um but let's see how it feels when you're flying you know so i think we'll go into microsoft flight simulator and fly the just flight hawk in vr uh, i'll have a camera on the stick itself so you can see how it moves and behaves and i'll give you more of my thoughts as we're flying and if we've got enough time we'll also scoot over to dcs i'll see you in the sim in a moment so before we jump into vr i thought i'd show you some of my bindings because i do get asked this quite a bit now it's still early days for my gladiator flight stick so i might change things but at the moment this is what i'm using now the first thing i want to show you actually is the elevator and aileron look how smooth this is like there's just no jittering at all with the axis i mean i've seen some smooth controllers over the years in fact the authenticate spitfire spay grip is one of them as well but this is on another level completely i mean look if i just move it around just on purpose 
just nothing. There's just no movement at all. It's so precise. I love that. Look at that. Fantastic. But what I want to show you is the VR movement controls when I'm inside the cockpit, because you're going to ask me, how am I moving around in VR? Well, you'll be able to see that on the, uh, the camera anyway, but just thought I'd show you. I'm using my middle mouse button for the cockpit translation controls. And that means that when I'm in VR, I can move around left, right, forward and back no problem. And then I'm going to click this button here for the outside view. There's just so many buttons on this thing. I, I, you know, I don't know how I'm going to use them all, but I'm sure I will in DCS, that's for sure. Um, and of course, for the uh, sort of switch to the outside view, I use this cockpit external view mode, which is on button three. So with that being said, let's go flying. Okay, folks, so welcome back. We're now in the sim. This is the Just Flight Hawk, the best trainer jet currently available links will be in the description below notice i'm using the hat switch there um one little negative i suppose i can think of is that hat switch i'm using with my thumb and i've got quite large hands um it's a little bit of a stretch it you know it's not a big deal breaker but it's just something i've noticed a little bit uh, and if i go back inside there we go i can now move around with my hat switch in the center which is perfectly positioned there also if i want to use the uh vr controller menu i can uh switch it on by doing that Look, there we go anyway let's go and do a, just a couple of maneuvers here we're at RAF waddington in lincolnshire and uh yeah the purpose of this video really is to show you how smooth this is and how you can control it so well here we go right, let's go back a little bit here hopefully you can see the joystick there as I'm moving it left and right, it's one to one. Here we go. Oh, I love this jet so much. It's a very murky day today, folks. Look at that, it's so precise. Gear coming up. We'll go outside. Yeah, it's a really murky day today. <laughs> okay, folks, I think it's time to start our little display here at RF Waddington. In VR. It feels so good, I have to say. And just notice how it's very much a one-to-one -one sort of movement with the real aircraft, real aircraft, simulated aircraft, you know what I mean, with the stick itself. Look at that. Anyway, here we go then. I can be so precise with this thing. It makes you a better pilot, no joke. <laughs> and it's got a nice amount of weight to it as well. It's, um, it feels like you're actually doing something when you roll left and right. You know, you, there's, there's a nice amount of weight and you can change that by the way, there's different springs available. And one thing I probably should mention as well, uh, is that uh, when you first get your new VKB Gladiator stick, you'll be a bit confused because it'll come in two separate boxes. Um, as you can see, uh, you have to kind of put it together yourself. And I was a little bit uh, disappointed by that to start with. But then when I realized it's insanely easy, even for someone like me, who's completely inept at any DIY, to put it together, it literally takes like five minutes, not even that, two minutes. Um, it's really, really no problems at all. Gentle roll here on the stick. Another gentle roll. Everything feels so smooth. Ah, oh, this is just wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. And so far, I've uh, flown in DCS, actually, funny enough, um, a two-hour mission. Oh, look at that. Snap rolls are very easy to do as well. Um, and it's just so comfortable. There's very little I don't like about it. I think the little stretch to the hat switch, I'm trying to think of anything nitpicking. 
Um, I guess you have to put it together when you get it, but really I can see why they've done that, particularly because you can probably get different sticks for this as well. So the base can be bought separately, so that's kind of a good thing really. It's, it's actually really hard to find anything I don't like about it. Right, here we go then. Let's, let's uh, do a bit of a, a barrel roll here. Just something very slow to show you the... Uh, just the precision. Wow, I love it so much now. In the interest of not making this video too long, I'll just do one more pass. In fact, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do a loop to finish. Why not? It has to be done. It's been a while since anything's displayed over at RF Waddington, that's for sure. I used to love going to the air shows. I used to go both days every year. I really, truly miss it. Pulling back on the stick now. Over the top. There we go. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Right, anyway, I'm going to continue flying, but I'm going to stop the video here. Next time you see me, we'll actually be in DCS, and we'll go for a flight to see how this stick feels in a more sort of combat environment. Although, to be fair, I think what we'll do is we'll just do a bit of a display again, because I think that really shows the control sort of movements the best. See you in a moment. Okay, folks, so a quick spin in DCS. This is the Mirage. And by the way, a massive thank you to Uber if you're watching. He is a legend. He actually gifted me this for my birthday. I mean, wow. How nice is that? But anyway, let's just go for a bit of a low and fast mess around over the Persian Gulf quickly. Just to show you that it absolutely feels the same in DCS as it does in Microsoft Flight Simulator and indeed any sim. This VKB Gladiator stick is just so precise. You just feel like you can do anything with it. And I really like, even under really like sort of stress scenarios when you're in combat, that it's so planted to your desk, it just doesn't move anywhere, which is brilliant because of that metal plate. You can actually uh, screw it to your desk if you wish. And in fact, my friend who used to have a yoke, he used to have the honeycomb yoke, he sold that, got the Gladiator, and just uses this all the time. And of course you can use this for any sort of uh, aircraft, it doesn't really matter if it's a yoke or a uh, flight stick, but uh, I must admit for the sort of really posh uh, general aviation aircraft, a stick is very nice to use as well. Oh, do you know what, I love this aircraft so much. I'm very spoilt by the community and all their support on the channel. And Uva, if you're watching this, honestly mate, it means so much to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So here we are. Nice and low now, in VR, with the Gladiator stick. It's just really, really easy. I feel like a better pilot, honestly, because I can be so precise. Wherever I want the aircraft to go, I can just put it there with this stick. All right, let's kick the afterburner in now, then. What a beauty. Pulling some Gs here. That's just so much fun. Oh, I'm getting all sorts of warnings though. <laughs> so folks, to finish off, I think we'll do a bit of a conclusion to wrap this video up before it gets too long. But this has been DCS, and of course, the Gladiator stick works flawlessly, as you'd expect. Let's go for a quick flyby. Oh. Beautiful. One more. It's got to be done. One more. <laughs> oh, listen to that. Even when it's really far away. Oh, gorgeous. So there you are, folks. That is my review of the VKB Gladiator flight stick. It looks the part, I think. It certainly feels very, very precise. 
and it just feels like it's going to last as well. It's got a two-year warranty on it. Actually, I forgot to mention that. Um, and all in all, I mean, I really do really, really recommend this. On the channel coming up will be the brand new NXT rudder pedals and throttle quadrants. So look out for those. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, folks. If you want to subscribe to the channel and, uh, you know, give this video a like, feel free. See you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.